and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Gruel Discard to start the day off today. That's right, we're playing a self-discard deck. So we're not making our opponents discard, um, but we are trying to discard our own cards here. So this is a donation deck. That's what the two Ds over here means. We have two viewer submitted lists to start the stream off today. And this looks like a spicy one here because what we're doing here is we're making our self discard. As you see, we have Thrill of Top Possibility. We have Merchant of the Veil vale that can do the, the haggle part or also has the other part. And we have Cavalier of Flame that, you know, whenever it ETBs, you can discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. All right, so the reason why we're doing those discard things is for a couple of reasons. One, we have Glenhorn Buccaneer that whenever we discard, it deals one damage to each opponent. So we can machine gun down opponents with uh, a Glenhorn Buccaneer or two in play. And of course, it has the ability to discard and, and everything too. And then besides that, we're playing four Feasting Troll King as like a reanimate. Um, card here so like we're going to be discarding the troll king and then having three foods to sacrifice to bring it back so you know like we have the giant opportunity so like we can um we can as early as turn three bring back the feasting troll king you know if we if we display um thrill of possibility discard a troll king on turn two and then on turn three we just play a giant opportunity uh, create three food tokens and then we can sacrifice the three foods and return the feasting troll king from the graveyard to the battlefield so we could have turn three seven six vigilant trample so even better than a uh, rotting regisaur on turn three because it has vigilance and trample um and it does it and it's just like a you know you may be thinking well we just used a whole bunch of cards for that well we really didn't because the the thrill of possibility you know discarded one card drew two but discarded the troll king so you know it was really just kind of like a draw two because it put this over here and the giant opportunity just turns into a seven six so it's like th playing a three mana seven six so it's basically just you know draw two and then three mana seven six so not really using extra cards so yeah, we'll kind of see how this goes. Um, Cavalier Flame, I think, is a, just a really powerful Cavalier. I think this is an underrated Cavalier. Um, it's a strong card that I've always had success with whenever I've had it in different decks, so I'm excited to play that card. And of course we have Nissa's because Nissa is just such a good card. But yeah, that's, that's the story behind our deck. We're going to see how it works. And hey, Corn Lover. And we'll, let's see how it does. So for all of our donation decks, we like going over to the traditional standard league and pay our entry fee. Try to win five before we lose two. Hey, WQ, going good, going good. What's up, Zedalom? Oh, I thought I muted my phone. I guess I didn't. I hit the unmute by accident. So there we go. It's muted now. <clears throat> All right, so we got some fun decks today. Our next deck is going to be like a mono black deck with a Yara Citadel, where we try to <clears throat> play a Yara and then a bunch of cheap creatures off the top with Bola Citadel and drain our opponent. <clears throat> no, don't giant killer my beanstalk giant. Oh wait, we don't have beanstalk giants. We have we have troll kings. That's okay. The cat oven combo is not in it. There are cats, but there are no ovens. <clears throat> so there's there's cats in the deck with no foods. I feel like we should probably have ovens in there. <laughs> no drinking water. I just have uh, like these. These are just like juice bottles at at the at the grocery store. You know, they're just like glass juice bottles. Like I've I've uh, I don't know like four or five of them. And uh, I wish we had two lands. I know I could. We're on the draw, and we can discard here. We have three looks for our second land. 
I'm gonna just gonna mulligan. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, after using them, I just they're like real easy to throw in the dishwasher and then fill back up with water and put in the fridge. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna keep the fabled passage. <clears throat> because Fable Passage is a land that goes to the graveyard, so it helps out uh, the Cavalier. Hey, Zoltan. There you go. 4 0 today with Simic Aggro. Very nice. I'm probably going to be just discarding the giant opportunity. I'm going to wait on the Merchant of the Veil. Get a little bit more information. I think I just discard giant opportunity. Otherwise, it's just make three foods. And I'm casting... I know this is an instant. But I'm casting at sorcery speed because my opponent only had one blue mana. I don't think that they're playing like negates or ionize or anything like that. But you never know. You never know. And so... I wanted just to get that in play. Unfortunately, I don't have a second red for Glenhorn Buccaneer, and Fable Passage will come into play tapped. Uh, yeah, I did not eat anything good. I mean, I had I just had cereal today for lunch. So that's that's all I've had today was just cereal. So no, I didn't have anything special. for lunch you should get like a burrito that sounds like a good thing to get for lunch All right, so we're going to just do one damage to the opponent here. We'll discard one of these forests. Draw a new card. Take one. Um... <clears throat> I think I can just... I'll just play the Rugged Highlands, because I really just need six lands for Feasting Troll King, and then we're going to have, with having this uh, Rugged Highlands helps us out, we have four green sources for the Troll King, and we have a lot of red sources for Cavalier also. So we have good mana. And I'm going to just discard this Druid to draw. We'll cycle the Druid away. We don't, we don't, need, an, don't need a Paradise Druid right now. Ooh. Huh. Well, I guess I just play the king because one, I, I cannot give Cavalier of Flame haste unless I need one more land to do that, but then also the, the whole discard cards and then draw that many does not really work too well with Narset in play. Two, three, four, five. So no, I cannot. I cannot go Nissa and Troll King. I'm one mana short there. I. It's attacking for twelve. Kind of just want to play the Troll King. No. We should play this thing. Of this world. 
Behold, nature's true power. This was overwhelming. Yeah, that is that is true. So yes, I could have I could have looted. Yeah, so good good call there. I could have uh, discarded instead of play this merchant. I could have discarded the troll king and then bring it back with the three foods uh, to have the two troll kings in play. But then the basically the reason why I didn't do that. But you know, I could I could definitely be wrong here. But the reason why I didn't do that is because. Um, if something happens to the two troll kings and they they both die, then I don't have any way to to bring them back. Then my food are gone. Right now they have to they have to kill this thing obviously because this will kill them. And then whenever they do, I can bring it back. And if I just cast this from my hand, I'll have like the way to bring that back also. So I'm kind of playing the longer game. There. All right. Well, they're dead. But yeah, the the better play for putting more pressure out last turn would have been that Troll King. Because I don't think they'd have a board wipe, but again, they have Fires of Invention, so they could have different mana. So, you know, maybe they just go like Fae of Wishes um, and then, you know, Time Wipe. You know, like they, you know, with having, you know, we can't just say, okay, well, they're Grixis. They can't have a, a large board wipe. because of fires of invention all right so it doesn't look like we have any oh yeah we okay so we have brontodons for disenchant questing beast is just awesome ceratops is pretty awesome too so let's play those three i think i just want to get rid of the giant opportunities maybe we kind of cut back on like the whole combo stuff just cast troll kings hmm I should probably play Veil of Summer. So maybe I cut a Troll King, cut the Giant Opportunities. Maybe we just cut these Golden Eggs. I don't know. Golden Egg's kind of nice. I'm going to keep, like, two Golden Egg. We're going to get rid of a Goose. A Merchant. All right, we need to get rid of a 5-drop. I'll get rid of Anissa. Yeah, uh, yeah, Faye into Kaya's Wrath, Casualties, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff can always happen. <laughs> uh, it's all good, Zedalum. Yeah, the Stacks deck did not perform for us yesterday, unfortunately. This doesn't look great. Oh my gosh. Come on, deck. Okay, well, just look at the deck list here. See that we have 22 lands. That is probably too, too few lands. Like, I think this should be like a 24 land deck, not 22. 
I know we have like some good cycling and we have um I wonder what you No, they just got rid of a bunch of lands. Now we have some cycling and you know the thrilled possibilities and we have mana creatures and stuff. But still this this deck needs to have 24 lands because with Cavalier Flame, it rewards you for having more lands with Cavalier Flame anyway because you're like discarding other lands. Is good. I can't attack. You can't attack Ashiok and have Paradise Dru and have Veil of Summer available. I'm gonna just not attack Ashiok. So I don't I don't want them to be able to kill Paradise Druid. Alright, well now they can't use Ashiok anyway. We have Hexproof. Looks like my opponent's stuck on lands as well. My elemental friend. I'll return where you slumber. All right, so they found their land. So likely going to play fires plus something else. Come on. All right, so... Okay, I'm not I think I'm not going to I think I'm gonna say no to these lands. I don't want my lands to die. Harness the element. I could have um you know used a mountain and you know played the Cavalier of Flame. Oh, you know, untapping a mountain would have had the third red there. I wouldn't have been able to have haste with Cavalier of Flame. All right, we got another forest, so we got an extra forest. Now, because even if, if they go like, you know, fires ritual of so that they're dead. I I wanted more creatures here because of Liliana. I don't want Liliana just to be able to kill the Cerat the Ceratops. So they don't gain life now, but they still make the 4-4. Four four. I kind of needed to... Kill something besides the Brontodon. GG's. All right, want to know? <clears throat> I 
Nissa, still awesome. Okay, so we're going to Fable Passage turn one so we can shock in for the stomping ground because this is a tap land early. Yeah, it means it's a donation deck. So this is a, a viewer submitted deck. I don't know what's going on with like the one over there, why it's not showing up. Right now it's showing up. That was just a little, little bit of a visual bug there for a minute. I don't want to get a red source. Hey, Wanderer. Yeah, he is back. You can see him. He's back there laying on his blanket. There's Hawkeye. He's back there on the couch. So shock and then no play. So just want to make another food token. I did not, Eric. No. I did not. So we'll be able to have Nissa next turn. It's a, kind of a risky attack here because they could have like Deputy of Detention. But they went shock, shock. You know, we're putting put them down to 14. We got Nissa also coming that can do damage. I have not played any Serpent deck, no. Nope, I have not. Ugh. I guess I could have gone for the combo here. Thrill plus giant opportunity. I was going to just go with the golden egg. And then thrill. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone combo though. Oh, well, we would have had to have our, our very next card would have had to have a would have had to have been a land. All right, I won't. I'll wait on Thrill so they can't kill the Paradise Druid. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end step this, even though we miss a land drop. Hey, Espada. <clears throat> All 
Alright, it's not so bad. Ah, uh, the next card was a land. So we would have gotten there. Yeah, we got we got some cool decks today. So yeah, we got two donation decks that we're starting off with: this Gruel discard, and then a Yara Citadel, a mono black, a Yara Bola Citadel deck, and then um, we're gonna try the Simic Wishes in Best of One that we talked about before. I'm known for my excellent type. Don't worry, I got this. And then we'll be playing a Grixis Reanimator deck that I'm real excited about that I put together earlier today. No, that was that was not a goose honk. That was like that was a a troll screech. Or, hey storm. Good evening. And that was the troll coming in. Alright, so I'm going to cast the Troll King. You get to make three foods. Here goes nothing. Storm, I just started the stream. That's how it usually is. I just started. This is just our second match. And uh, I will be just attacking into these creatures, like these wolves and stuff, um, considering considering we could bring back the Troll King if need be. Oh, that was a goose honk. The goose did make that goose did make a goose honk, not an eagle screech. That was a goose honk.
We played Wicked Wolf yesterday. And the card was never very good. And today... Wicked Wolf is just incredible. this up as I go but yeah wicked wolf can shut down other creatures on the ground but yesterday we were just playing against a bunch of um bunch of field of the dead decks with it and just was really unimpressive Whoa, why did it just go? Oh, yeah, we, ca oh, we can't play instance because it's a fairy. I couldn't merge into the veil. Right, right, right. Yeah, I wish Buccaneer's damage could be redirected to a Planeswalker. Yep. Looks like we're just going to get Krasis here. Yeah, Cavalier of Flames is a good card. Um, yeah, I think there's I think there's a good shot for Cavalier of Flames. Um, we're kind of seeing here, though, that... Hydroid Crisis. I mean, I can I can sack a couple of those to kind of stay alive, but not really. Hydroid Crisis is just a really good card. All right, we're gonna need our own removal. Oh yeah, okay. Us having Wicked Wolves with all the eggs we can, with all the the foods we can make too. I like that. So yeah, we'll bring in Coil, Wicked Wolf, we'll get rid of Buccaneer, we'll get rid of, I don't think we get rid of Nyssa, I think we keep Nyssa, but I, I think, maybe we trim one Nyssa. Yeah, Questing Beast takes down Teferi, and they're probably going to have Oko also. I I don't know if we really have a good uh, answer to Oko. Oko just turns, you know, my, my creatures like Wicked Wolf, Cavalier of Flame, and Feasting Troll King, you know, just turns them into 3 threes with no abilities. I think this is just a really tough matchup for us. Which is, you know, it's going to happen. We're, like, trying to do some, you know, this cute little thing here, and my opponent has everything to shut it down, it looks like. Because even with sideboarding here, I don't like where we're at. But that's okay. Um... Let me 
Maybe I'm not going to play the Questing Beast. <laughs> yep, opponents being fun haters. Hey, Dark Claw. <clears throat> Two of the same mythics in back to back packs. Yeah, that's got to be really slim. Um, opening a mythic is one out of eight. There's, um, like when you're opening up boosters, that's your odds of opening a mythic is one out of eight packs. And then there are 15 different mythics. So opening up a specific mythic would be 15 times eight. So one in 120. So opening up a specific mythic, you open it up every 120 packs. You know, just mathematically, not necessarily always. Uh, no, I haven't chosen, chosen my deck for the 12 win challenge yet. We're going to see how the Simic Wishes that we play later on. Basically, it's either I'm either going to play the Simic Wishes that we have there, or Simic Flash, or Simic Ramp. Basically one of those three. So, we'll, so I'm going to be playing Simic in that best of one. Either ramp wishes. The wishes is just is the ramp deck. With instead of having manipulation and treachery in the main deck, it has Fey of Wishes instead, so it has a, a wish sideboard. But I'm not sure if that's going to be too slow or not. So we're going to try that out later. Um, we were pretty excited about that at the the uh, last time whenever we played Simic Ramp of talking about that being a possibility. So we're going to try that out because we've had, you know, people ask about that. And we'll see. I kind of feel like Simic Flash may be, like, the most powerful best of one deck. There you go. Got a questing beast for your five win at card today. That's awesome. This is kind of difficult. I think we'll discard the forest, but if we don't find more lands, this could be bad. So we got Wicked Wolf, then Wicked Wolf. That was a pretty good hand. Turn two and turn three, Risen Reef. Oh, yeah, I guess when I was talking about the packs before, I was talking about paper packs, uh, paper boosters. I don't know exactly. Yeah, so I guess if every 30 packs you have a mythic wild card guaranteed, so then, yeah, that would be a specific mythic every 30 packs then for Arena. I guess I wasn't speaking of the wild cards. Stop 
doing that bubble thing. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Oh dear. So yeah, I can reanimate the Troll King here. But then they just turn Troll King into a 3 3. Yeah, Oko just really messes up our, our game plan. Yeah, Oko just messes everything up. So I guess I'll just have more food to grow Wicked Wolf. If I if I play a different Wicked Wolf, and you know like fight the if I could I could, could like play this fight like the three three put a counter on this, and then attack in for three. But then they can just um, you know make a new um, food and then trade and take my wolf. Let's see if we hit a land drop. Okay. No, I, I didn't bring in Ceratops. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I guess I couldn't have done anything about that. Okay, never mind. Okay. Whew. Okay, never mind. We're fine. See, I, I didn't want to do the indestructible thing anyway there. Okay. I got distracted there for a second and thought that I messed up by not sacking a food in response, but I did not. Kill this goose. The goose being able to make all the foods and everything. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically all we have are just three three elks, three three elks. It's. Oko has made playing creatures kind of Im impossible. Which I don't like. I like creatures. But it's kind of impossible to play these creatures with Oko just having this plus one turning everything into an elk. you to change your ways yeah not not like the big mana creatures yeah if you yeah if you have like a whole bunch of cheaper haste creatures to kill Oko I guess you can do that but not really these mid-range creatures
together we will prevail. The land shall conquer you. Hey, Blue Jin. Yeah, I would agree Field of the Dead is public en enemy number one instead of Oko, but the the games, like games where you're trying to play creatures against Oko are just really miserable. It's This is a, a miserable card to play against with this plus one. Like these, these cards don't do anything. And that's really sad. So I, I think what our side, like what, well, you have to have a sideboard for in a deck like this. Like if, if you're trying to play cards like this, you know, you, we have to have removal for Oko. So like what we need are like Sorcerer Spyglass. That's a card that, that we need like you can't like you we can't really just attack oko so, oko has too much loyalty can turn things into three threes they have other creatures and everything we need like sorcerer spyglass um <laughs> fry does not even kill oko because oko pluses up to six immediately it's pretty ridiculous so yeah, can't even play like Fry. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make some foods here with the goose. All right, we're gonna do some cycle in. So we're gonna discard a land, a land, and yeah, you, you can go to Merchant of the Veil. Discard all those, get new cards. So right now we got three lands in the graveyard. Vivian's busted. Well, good news with Cavalier Flame's ability, if they do kill Cavalier Flame with Rotting Regisaur, then the ability would my, my. How you've kill grown. Vivian.
New cards. The wrong fight. No, ah, uh, I wanted to fetch in response. Oh well, should have dealt one more damage to them than what I did. I can play both both cards, but that forces me to chump block with the Troll King. Which isn't the worst. I don't get to block with anything else. Did die to them top decking removal spell though. So I don't have mana to crack a food. I mean, so if I would have just cast Troll King and not play Nyssa, um, we would have just had the O2 that could have blocked also. So I could have, I could have stayed alive there. All right, Wicked Wolf, Veil of Summer. These decks are just going over the top of these cards, you know, Merchant and Buccaneer. They just don't really matter. Definitely not Buccaneer. Merchant, like maybe we need Merchant to hit land drops because we're only playing 22, which could be rough. I'd like to play Coil. Yeah, we, we can Death Touch Beast as well. We'll do that. Hopefully we can hit land drops. Hey, SDN. We got Welsh Dragon, Blue Gen. Okay. All right, we got three lands and a Paradise Druid. Let's keep. <clears throat> Should we discard Giant Opportunity to Thrill a Possibility? Ooh. Where do we go? Do I just go combo? Let's go combo. Alright, we got the combo turned on. We'll be able to play turn three Troll King. Let's see how it goes. Uh, 
All right, there we go. We got Troll King in play at turn three. I don't I don't think I attack Cuz you know they just get to trade with Rotting Regisaur. They don't have to discard cards by not attacking. They have to discard cards. Well, I guess by not attacking they get the Great Henge now. to the largest hydra nature is beautiful they don't let up they don't let up we're gonna tear you apart this card's still amazing I definitely like that my opponent's playing the Vivians um I think it's a very powerful card. Yeah, doesn't even fight. They just just get a punch. Yeah, their their creature punches ours. Brutal. Well, I could not afford that. I needed the goose to be able to make another food here for the for the troll king. Okay. The land shall conquer you. The Troll King is back. They just they just discarded trophy. They didn't just cast trophy. They had trophy also. They had everything. We're fit enough to survive.
Well, Retosaur is trampled, so Nissa's gonna die. I mean, I could, I could double block Regisaur and then throw the Paradise Druid into the night, and then Nissa doesn't die. I want the Cavalier of Flame to die though, and this way they're probably just killing the Troll King. No. Ugh. So I, I could have put the Cavalier Flame in front of the Knight to make sure my Cavalier died. Because killing Cavalier kills N kills Vivian. But then I don't get to save my Nyssa. Dino plus Henge is good. Yeah, I mean, my opponent's winning this game because of Vivian. Vivian was their most important card here. But yeah, I guess the Dino was really important too, though. I guess I'd rather have the mountain chump block than a forest. This will be fun to watch. It's really not fun to watch. I disagree. I need to hone my skills. I must go. Well, this felt like some tough matchups. Decks were just going a lot bigger than us. They were just more, more powerful than our deck. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what we're supposed to do against the Great Henge like that. Um, so we really struggled with... Oh, we got a pack. We'll crack this pack open. Mythic? 
Hey, we got a mythic. All right. Really good pack there. Yeah, questing beast with trample is insane. Exact 100% vault progress. Also, we'll crack that open. Got a mythic wild card. Yeah, I could see this deck playing Henge. Yeah, I could definitely see this deck playing the Great Henge. Like if we're if we're trying to get you know feasting Troll King in play quickly and you know having Cavalier Flame and stuff like this, this certainly feels like a, a deck that could be playing the Great Henge as well. Um, Glenhorn Buccaneer is just too small of a creature these days, too un unimpactful. Um, but yeah, I think our, our deck could use like two more lands. Because, you know, like, discarding lands with Cavalier is really not bad. But then, yeah, we could definitely use more card advantage. Got to have ways to deal with Planeswalkers. We, we saw their uh, Oko Vivian just annihilated us. Um, we had no answer to Oko or Vivian. So I, I guess, like, with Gruel Colors, I guess the best thing is probably Sorcerer Spyglass there. Um that you know maybe maybe that's that's like the thing to do is have sorcerer spyglass in the sideboard um but yeah while it was you know cool getting feasting troll king on turn three our opponents just played regisaur on turn three and then uh vivian to kill my troll king and then the gray hen and draw millions of cards they're just better you know better big creature aggressive decks here as we saw there we were just getting outclassed and just don't don't have any interaction. Um, so yeah, we were outclassed. Okay. Um, so, uh, but yeah, maybe the Great Henge for this deck. Maybe maybe Spyglass for the sideboard. Um, but still, like yeah, we gotta have like some more powerful things. Like yeah, maybe we can go three colors. Have um, I don't know, something else. You know, like. We couldn't deal with Krasis at all, you know, like like our other opponent just played Krasis. Like, can we play Krasis? Maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, just there's a we couldn't deal with the opponent's cards that were better than our cards, and we couldn't deal with them, and so that was rough. Anyway, uh, but that's Gruel Discard first deck of the day here. So if you're watching later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and feel free to leave some comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.